Hi guys, we have a really fun pattern for you. It's called the fake out. It looks like this. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. You might have noticed that we started with a crossbody lead, but in close position. So here my right hand and his left hand are connected. And then my arm is on top of his arm and he is the supporting frame. He's gonna make sure that his elbow is up nice and high and supporting my arm. Ladies, don't think that you really have to grip with your left hand here. I actually am really relaxed with that arm. So here I rest my arm on top of his and he did a crossbody lead. So on one, two, three, he clears the lane. This is one, two, three. On five, he's going to give me a little push on my shoulder blade to ask me to go to the other side. Five, six, seven. Those are traditional crossbody lead feet. So if you need to go back to another video, you can check out the breakdown for the crossbody lead. Now for the fake out, we also set her up for a crossbody lead, and then the changeup happens on six. So we have one, two, three. He opened the lane one more time. So if I, if he wanted to take me into a normal crossbody lead, he could, and I would go straight across. He's still gonna push with his five on with his right hand on my shoulder blade, pushing me forward. Five. So we'll just do one, two, three, five together. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five. We'll try it from the other side. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five. One more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five. Now on six, he's going to use his left hand to push me backward. So now I need to retrace my steps, but I'm still gonna change my weight six times, just like I would any other pattern. This is six and seven. Now you'll notice he changed his feet a little bit. On one, two, three, he took his normal stance. And then on five, he froze for dramatic effect. And on six, seven, he's going to push me back and also hold his ground. This really just demonstrates what's happening in the move where you create this hard hit and then you create the space. Let's try it again. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three. Push forward and send her back. Now you can accent it a lot of different ways, but this is a nice way to really emphasize the change. One more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now, why do I extend my arm? One, it's styling, but two, it actually serves to protect your shoulder. So if I were to stay connected here, one, two, three, five, I could, but I will possibly feel a little bit of strain here. I release my arm, and then it gives me a little more wiggle room without putting so much strain. Now, if you didn't, you can still get away with the move like this. It's optional to extend the arm and dance all the way through the fingers. Let's try again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, forward and push your back. Boom. Okay, now let's try a crossbody lead and go straight into the fake out. So crossbody lead first, then the fake out. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, keep going, one. Two, three, and five. Six, seven, and one. One more time from this side. Six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, guide her across. Six, seven, and one. Two, three, and push, push, and one. Now, what's critical to making this work is that the follows have to know that we have to resist when he asks for resistance. So when he pushes me into his hand, I'm making sure that this left shoulder is actually leaning back into his hand so he has something to push. If I jump the gun and move ahead of him, he's not gonna be able to ask me to go forward. He's gonna be chasing me instead. So this is one, two, three, push on five, make sure you resist back. My left shoulder is going back into his hand. I 
and go to five. Uh, go to five, yeah. Five. Then he's going to give me resistance and push back on six. But when he pushes, make sure that you also push back. So I am resisting so that I move backward. Otherwise, you're gonna come here, he'll push, and you're not gonna go anywhere, right? But as a rule, we know, ladies, that the elbow never passes the midline of the body. So as soon as I feel that resistance, I should have it so that my whole body moves backwards instead of just having the arm past your body. Let's try this again. We're going to do our cross body lead and then the fake out. Close position. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Now, for my ladies that want to practice the styling, I'm here just below my shoulder height. And remember, you always want to unravel from being close to you outward, right? So I'm here and I'm going to make sure that I open out from this closer position. And I go elbow, wrist, fingers. So this is elbow, wrist, fingers. I'm here, elbow, wrist, fingers. Then I come all the way up and my wrist leads with the fingers trailing behind. And from here, I come to the back of my head and hug that elbow in and trace down. All right, let's give it a shot. Cross body lead into the fake out. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. And now we'll do it solo so that you can see it from another perspective. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Let's try it from this side. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Let's try it with a little music. We're going to do one basic first, then our combo, basic, our combo, basic. Good luck. Make sure you check out our other dance videos at danceruniversity.com. Hit the subscribe and notification button so you know whenever we upload another video. And like and share our videos so your other friends can get on board and you'll have more people to dance with. Also, if you leave me a comment, I'd be happy to answer any dance-related questions. Let's connect on social media. You can find me on Instagram, gill.nicole, TikTok, Nicole Gill Dance and on Facebook at Dance Salsa LA, where I post all of my events and classes in Los Angeles.